Now, it's time for tonight's UPMC game-changing play of the day. All right, no games. There was a Pro Bowl, and in it, a local guy does well. T.J. Watt picks up a fumble, 82 yards, touchdown. AFC beats NFC. You're not going to talk Pro Bowl with us here tonight. We are talking about Super Bowl week, which means Hall of Fame inductions. Ron Cook, Troy Palomalo, Alan Fanica, who gets in? Oh, I think Troy absolutely gets in. They put Ed Reed in first ballot last year. They're going to put Troy in this year. I'm hoping for Fanica because I really believe he deserves it. But with Cowher going in, Shell going in, and then Troy going in, there is a Steeler bias, uh, at least subconsciously. I don't see it happening for him this year. Yeah, that stuff about multiple players in the same team going in shouldn't matter. Uh, if you deserve it, you should go in, but it does. Uh, it also matters if there are multiple guys going in from the same position. It shouldn't matter, but it does. If you made me vote for only one guy, I would do so with clean conscience. I'd vote for Fanica. I think Troy will get in eventually anyway, and I'm starting to worry about Fanica getting in, kind of like it felt for Damani Dawson taking forever to get in. Uh, yeah, I agree with you about Fanica. To me, he was arguably the best player in the league at his position for a decade. You do that, you get into the Hall of Fame. But unfortunately, he was a guard. That's probably the most ignored position in football. But there's no question of his greatness. And as for Troy, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. I think we all know that. Uh, one of the truly great defensive players of the past generation in the NFL. He gets in, but boy, with so many Steelers already going in with Donnie Shell and Bill Cowher in and, and Paul Amalu a lock, I don't know if they put four in. That, 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 not saying he shouldn't be in, but that's a huge number. Antonio Brown in the news, arrested this week, released. Real quick, have about 35 seconds here. Ron, does he eventually get in the Hall of Fame? I think he will. Um, there's no morality clause in football. He was five or six years, not just the greatest receiver of his generation, but one of the greatest of all time. I think he gets in. I don't think he ever plays in the league again, though. Yes, if the negative off-field behavior ceases where it is now, throwing rocks and bags of gummies, uh, I think his numbers get him in if it doesn't get any worse than this off the field, but I'm not so certain that will be the case. Yeah, he's a Hall of Famer. For five or six years, he was the best wide receiver in football during the greatest generation, I think, for wide receivers in football. You cannot ignore that, but what a mess his personal life has become. It's painful to go on social media and to see what he's doing from one day to the next. I totally agree with both of those points. When we come back, we will reflect on the life of Kobe Bryant next.